hello welcome back welcome back to escape forever free i'm your girl faith here we are teaming um together as we step up with faith to restore physical mental spiritual and social wholeness if this is your first time here we're happy to have you we invite you to click the bell icon and subscribe and stay with us so go ahead click that icon no thank you all right so this is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional video this video is dedicated to helping each of us to build a healthy habit of spending one hour alone with god every single day so you usually start with this video after choosing your best sacrificial time in the first place of course then at the end of this video devotional kickstart you will continue for one hour with you and god alone this is not intended for family worship time it is for one and one with you and god family worship time should be different all right so thank you for joining our team and we pray that you will be truly blessed and that you'll grow spiritually in this support team effort we're going to begin our kickstart devotional now with prayer and then we go into the rest of our routine again thank you so much for for stay, um, coming with us please stay and do tap into this support and grow in jesus christ let us pray father in heaven we thank you for another day that you've blessed us with we thank you for the gift of life as we continue with it we place it back into your hands who knows it so well and its purpose and how to direct the life within us into eternal and heavenly things we put it into your hands and beg that you will direct our lives and that you will bless our lives as we come now to seek after nothing but unadulterated undiluted truth and light we pray that you'll give it to us and hide nothing farther from us that is relevant to our salvation and even in these messages may all saints that are especially of new understanding and awakening to us who listen may they be made clear father we pray give us your holy spirit also to compel us to constrain us to prompt us to accept the truth and light as we receive our conviction and to obediently follow after them making whatever adjustment they may call upon us to do in our lives habits and activities Bless us now we pray and guide us through in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, so we're going to now go into our memory text. Each week we commit a text to memory. This week's memory text comes to us from St. John 3 and verses 14 and 15. And it says, As Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, even so must the Son of Man be lifted up. 15. That whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life again st john 3 and verses 14 and 15 and as moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness even so must the son of man be lifted up that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have eternal life may god help us to recall this in due season to edify souls and to glorify his name even to edify our very own souls all right so our book the great controversy we're still in chapter four the wildernesses and now we're going to continue from where we left off in our chapter please also make sure you have your bible for quick references from time to time we do go to the bible depending on how each chapter leads this chapter of the um chapter four is highly um, concentrated on the historical experiences and movements of this group of people and so you might find that we do not do a lot of scriptural references as it is just plain forward um, in our earthly experience in our era um, a different dispensation of course the dark ages but these people um, had very live experiences that are recorded in this book the great controversy so let us go into the readings again the pastors not only preached the gospel but they visited the sick cathesized the children admonished the erring and labored to settle disputes and promote harmony and brotherly love in times of peace they were sustained by free will offerings 
of the people. But like Paul the tent maker, each learns some trade or profession by which, if necessary, to provide for his own support. From their pastors, the youth received instruction. While attention was given to branches of general learning, the Bible was made the chief study book. The Gospels of Matthew and John were committed to memory with many of the epistles. They were employed also in copying the scriptures. Some manuscripts contained the whole Bible, others only brief selections to which some simple explanations of the text were added by those who were able to expound the scriptures. Thus were brought forth the treasures of truth so long concealed by those who sought to exalt themselves above God. By patient, untiring labor, sometimes in the deep, dark caverns of the earth, by the light of torches, the sacred scriptures were written out verse by verse, chapter by chapter. Thus, the work went on, the revealed will of God shining out like pure gold. How much brighter, clearer, and more powerful because of the trials undergone for its sake. Only those could only those could realize who were engaged in the work. Sorry, let's go again how much brighter, clearer, and more powerful because of the trust undergone for its sake, only undergone for its sake, only those could realize who were engaged in the work. Angels from heaven surrounded these faithful workers. Satan had urged, however, urged on the papal priests and prelates to bury the word of truth beneath the rubbish of error, heresy, and superstition. But in a most wonderful manner, it was preserved uncorrupted through all the ages of darkness. It bore not the stamp of man, but the impress of God. Men have been unwearied in their efforts to obscure the plain, simple meaning of the scriptures and to make them contradict their own testimony. But, like the ark upon the billowy deep, the word of God outrides the storms that threatened it with destruction. As the mine, as, as the mine has rich veins of gold and silver hidden beneath the surface, so that all must dig who would discover its precious stores. So the holy scriptures have treasures of truth that are revealed only to the earnest, humble, prayerful seeker. God designed the Bible to be a lesson book to all mankind in childhood in youth and manhood and to be studied through all the time he gave his word to men as a revelation of himself every new truth discerned is a fresh disclosure of the character of its author of course in its origin which is jesus christ that's given to man through the holy spirit which is god himself the study of the scriptures is the means divinely ordained to bring men into closer connection with their creator and to give them a clearer knowledge of his will. It is the medium of communication between God and man. So while the, wonder, while the wildernesses regarded the fear of the Lord as the beginning of wisdom, they were not blind to the importance of contact with the world and so a knowledge of men and of active life 
in expanding the mind and quickening the perceptions. From their schools in the mountains, some of the youth were sent to institutions of learning in the cities of France or Italy, where was a more extended field for study, thought and observation than in their native Alps. The youth thus sent forth were exposed to temptation, they witnessed vice, they encountered Satan's wily agents who urged upon them the most subtle heresies and the most dangerous deceptions. But their education from childhood had been of a character to prepare them for all of this. So in the schools, the whites, so in the schools, whether they, so whither they went, they were not to make confidence of any. Their garments were to be, were so prepared as to conceal their greatest treasure, the precious manuscripts of scriptures. These, the fruit of months and years of toil, they carried with them. And whenever they could do so without exciting suspicion, they cautiously placed some portion in the way of those whose hearts seemed open to receive the truth from their mother's knee. The Waldensian youth had been trained with, the pur with this purpose in view. They understood their work and faithfully performed it. Converts to the truth, to the true faith, were one in these institutions of learning, and frequently its principles were found to be permeating the entire school. Yet the papal leaders could not, by the closest inquiry, trace the so-called corrupting heresy to its source. You see, brethren, how God works in mysterious ways and how He provides for and protect his people we will stop here for today and pick up at the next part of this chapter when we come to the next video we pray that we will steal up this truth and even like the world says we will teach our children the way of the savior the way of jesus christ the godly the godly way that god asks us to bring them up into and they will teach them to recite the bible parts of the Bible and we'll teach them the Bible stories and we'll interpret the morals for them and we'll teach them thereby how to stand against the wily wiles of the devil and stand victoriously at the end. May we be true and good mentors, spiritual mentors for the gifts of our children which God has lent to us. They are not our own. They are God's gift. And when he comes back, He's going to want a report from each of us who were given the duty as to how we stewarded that responsibility. May God help us not to be found wanting when such matters concerning our parental and adult responsibility to the treasures gifted to us in the form of his children is called up to be weighed in the balances. May we be found faithful. We go to our meditational hymn, hymn number six. 125 higher ground from our hymnal and we're going to do stanza three today i want to live above the world though satan's darts at me are hurled for faith has caught the joyful sound the song of saints on higher ground lord lift me up and I shall stand by faith on heaven's table land. A higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. Who lift me up and I shall stand by faith on heaven's table land. A higher plane than I have found. Lord, plant my feet on high.
Let us pray. Father, we thank you for the reminders in the pages of this great controversy that tells us that for every era that we experience persecution of your saints, you have preserved a group of light bearers. Father, even in the time to come, I beg that all of us here, so in the hearing of the dropping of these lights and these historical truths, may we be encouraged and may we be driven to prepare ourselves to be among those, if found in those times, again, that will stand for you. Father, cause us not to despise even one tittle of your expectation and your commandments and your judgments and your precepts laid out before us for us to obediently follow after. May we, Father, not render our obediences to man, but give full obedience to our God and one and supreme only deity. Give us the strength, give us the Holy Spirit's possession, and keep us faithful, we pray, even to the end, when you shall come to receive us with the well-waited for sounding of the message well done good and faithful servant in jesus name we pray with hope and thanksgiving amen let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be now and always acceptable in thy sight o lord our strength and our redeemer walk good but above all please follow the blueprints and walk with god see you in our next video god bless you